Hello. My name is Timothy Trespass. A human being who has found himself targeted and infected with Morgellons disease, covered in mites that bite, possible nanotechnology, MK Ultra style mind control, torment, torture, immunosuppressive program. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you, Lord, for another day, another breath, another chance, another opportunity, now, whether it's joy or pain, sorrow or whatnot, it's still an opportunity, it's still, uh... oh god, can you read the micro expressions on my face, you know what, what's going on in my mind as I speak, because I do. Um, basically, whatever this is seems to be not only in every cell, but eating the linings of the nerves or some such, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just the lack of sleep and whatnot, but every sound feels like a fight or flight assault. Every touch uh, registers the same. Hi there, little one. Yes, you're so big, yes. And, um, oh, my memory is about this long. So, we can expect Alzheimer's like jumping from thing to thing and loss of concentration. I've already forgotten the point of this whole thing. It had a point. Um, Thank you to all the wonderful people who actually care. And uh, my prayers, my prayers are with everyone, you know? I start praying and I just keep going. I can't stop with any one group in particular. Um, my arm hurts. Okay. So, the news so far, housing court was supposed to be yesterday. Uh, the guy whose house it is said, oh, don't worry about it, they're not going to do it. I said, uh, okay, I better go. Petra said, go. So I went. Yes, sure enough, it's on the calendar. But he was correct. The landlord's attorney didn't show up either, so the case was dismissed. Uh, I went because... <laughs> I'm used to people doing, saying one thing and doing another. Anyway, um, excuse me, our tiny room, it's so small, we can't even think in there. And they got the targeted tss, high frequency, so as soon as you walk in the door. How about this one? As soon as you get off the train, uh, I found that when I travel to places I've never traveled, the high frequency is usually less unless they are specifically zapping me or tuning me or whatever is happening, the, the biology, you know, whatever it is. As soon as I get off the train, and I can be in a relaxed mood, a good mood. Now, what is this? As soon as I step off the train in Brooklyn, I start anxiety, high frequency, uh, you know. And as soon as I get into my house, it's even louder. So. Um, this is, is frequent, but wherever we move to live, you know, when I go back and revisit these places later, it doesn't do that. So, uh, oh, is it just a stress reaction, a psychosomatic problem, uh, you know, from, from the stress of, uh, you know, whatever. Excuse me. Petra is 
in bed. She's been in bed now for four days, screaming in pain um, because she has been completely bitten up from her neck to her, you know, all around her face and neck. And, and I don't know if you can see on mine, mine is only slightly red and discolored. Hers is brown and blistered and uh, I felt it, it feels like a second or third degree burn without the fire. Nothing makes it feel any better. Most things make it feel worse, even water. Aloe helps, opiate painkillers help, uh, NSAIDs, acetaminophen do very little. Calamine lotion hurts, cortical steroids seem to make it go crazy. Uh, can you imagine having all those little creatures inside of you and giving them steroids? What do you think they're going to do? They're going to go to the gym and work out. <laughs> yeah, so stay away from the cortical steroids. <laughs> um, there's a fungus. <laughs> she claims there's a fungus growing when she puts the, the aloe. So we're slathering her in coconut oil. Thank the Lord for... And I decree, declare, and request by the power of Yahshua, the King of Kings and Savior, our Lamb of God, that the oil be healing and anointing in the Holy Spirit of love and mercy and strength. Um, I was watching this, this, okay, I was watching this video decree and declare God's power and whatever and it's got some fancy graphics and some some moving music and she goes through a whole list litany in this hypnotic whatever of of prayers of breaking generational curses breaking curses put on you by other people you didn't know breaking curses that you entered into unknowingly or knowingly on and on breaking cur you know I, I was into that one it, it spoke to me so, in the morning, the one thing I didn't like is in the graphics, I see all this subliminal, multi-layered stuff that when you're paying attention to the central object, you don't see what's going on around, but your, your subconscious does. Anyway, in the morning I wake up, and usually I wear this uh, Celtic knot uh, that a woman gave me to sell and I ended up keeping um, and it was beautiful I liked it and anyway I, I woke up and I go in the bathroom and I wash my face and I put my head up and it was as though somebody had reached around my neck and touched the the thing had three links on it soldered. Uh, two links, excuse me. One on the thing and another one in the loop and another one to the chain. Soldered. I soldered them myself. Ping! The thing falls off into the sink. Clink, clink, clink. The loop is gone. Poof! Either went down the drain or whatnot. But it was missing. The chain had not broken. Uh, the other link was unsoldered. You know, I don't know. So, then I looked at myself in the mirror, and I realized, what am I, I have chains around my neck, let me do that again, that have turned from silver to black, because of all the uh, ammonium, benzalk ammonium chloride. I have bands around my wrists, and and, and rings in my ear. Who have I enslaved myself to? What have I bound myself to? Is the question running through my mind. And is it breakable? Is it stoppable? Can we get these things away, out? Change our, our thinking, as they call it. Um, 
you know. I, I'm beginning to see now when they say, what got into you? What do they mean? Anyway, that's 10 minutes. Thanks for watching. We'll talk more on this later, God willing. God bless you all.